Okay, this is lesson 80, fifth grade, prime and composite numbers. Now, let's write down, and we're going to write some definitions. Prime, composite. Do I need to write this? Go on and write those down. Prime and composite. Composite. Is this all I have to write? Mm-hmm. Now, just like the alphabet has vowels and consonants, and there's only two of those, you either have a vowel or a consonant with, mm -hmm. with our alphabet, numbers are the same way. They're either prime or they're composite. I thought it was odd or even. Kind of, there's also odd and even numbers. But when we're talking about prime and composite, there's only two ways. Okay. okay. The odd and even was kind of the first way to differentiate between numbers. Yeah. Okay. Now you're learning a new way that's going to help you as you increase in your learning in math. Being, being able to know which ones are prime and composite will really help you. Okay. Okay. Now, a prime number, let's write down the definition and then I'll explain it. Okay. Numbers, and this is, I'm going to put here, let's just write numbers with exactly two is this for okay yeah write this down Number. i'm going to explain to you what it means in just a minute but go on and write down the definition numbers with exactly two factors uh, two factors okay composite is our numbers with more than two factors. Now, I'll explain to you what those means once you write that definition. Okay? Okay. So watch this. Let's just start with a random number. Let's say six, the number six. Okay. Is it a prime or composite number? Well, um, let me. Well, here's what I'm asking you. Okay, a factor is what? Do you remember learning about factors? Problem. That's the product. But there are factors in the multiplication problem. Good job remembering that. Oh, it's that. just a number to it. Okay, so factors are this: blank times blank equals the product. Okay. Factor the factors are the times ones factor equals product. It's the it's the numbers that are involved in a uh -huh. multiplication problem. Right. Very good. Okay. Good job. You did a good job even remembering that. Okay? So a prime number is a number with exactly two factors. All right? Now, let me explain to you what I mean by that. Let's just take the number six. Okay. Okay? And I'm asking you, is six a prime number or a composite number? Okay? What numbers, what times, Does the what? two factors have to be the same number? That's what we're fixing to do. Good job. Okay. So what times what equals six? Just throw out anything. It has to be times. Uh-huh. What times what equals six? Um. Two times three. Oh, it can be opposite numbers? Yeah, anything. Oh, one times six. One times six. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? I can else? do two times three. Okay. Two times three equals six. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. So, how many factors were used to equal six? Two. One, two, three, four. There are four That'd be factors. a prime. There are four factors that can equal six. Okay. So, there are four numbers. Okay. So, what number... Numbers with exactly two factors. Now, so this would be a composite. This would be a composite because it has more than two. One, two, three, four. That equals six. Do you get it? Uh -huh. Okay. So six is a composite number because it's a number, six is a number, with more than two factors. Okay. Try this. Let's go a number below six. Five. Okay. And I want you to think for me. What times what equals five? Uh, one times five. One times five. Anything else? Nothing else. Nothing, yeah. So, 
How many factors does five have? Um, exactly two. two. That'd be a prime. Numbers with exactly two factors are prime. You got it? So most would be composite. Probably. Most numbers would be composite. Okay. Okay? So let's just think in our head. Now, just to kind of give you a, a quick um, uh, clue, one, the number one is not considered prime or composite. Okay. It's just not even considered. Yeah, it'd be like okay. one times one. So right? let's think. I'm just going to write two through ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wait, two would be considered, right? Two can let's be one decide. Of let's decide. Is two going to be a prime number or a composite number? Um, what times what equals two? One times two and... Uh -huh. That's it. So guess what? Two it's a prime. is a prime number. So I'm going to put it underneath. The higher they get, the more, right? Well, we'll just see. So two's done. It's under the prime. Okay, prime, composite. Three, prime or composite? Prime. Prime, because something times something, only three times one equals. They four. have to be even to be composite, won't they? Even numbers will always, other than two, will always be a composite number. Uh -huh. Good job thinking in your brain. Okay, so three, is it prime or composite? What did you say? Prime. You said prime. And Good then job. four is composite. Four is composite. Five. Five is prime. Six is composite. Six is composite. Seven is prime. Seven is prime. Eight is composite. Eight is composite. Nine is prime. Think about it. A lot of people get tricked on that one. Okay, so it's... It is composite. It is. Why? Because it's got 3, 3, and 3, right? So we've got 3 times 3 are 2 of the factors yeah. and 1 times 9. So it has 1, 2, and 3. And then 10 is composite. Very good. So let's put 9 down here and let's put 10 down here. What about 11? 11 would be... Think prime. It is. Very good. So, a lot of people think all odd numbers are prime, but that's a very wrong thought process because 9 is an odd number, but mm -hmm. it goes into 3 and then 9 times 1. 3 times 3 and 9 times 1. Yeah. Okay? So you see 19 that would be composite too. 19, never seen with 9? 19 would be prime. It would? Uh huh. Because 2 won't go into it, 3 won't go into it, 4 won't, none of those will. Okay. Okay, you, you'll eventually learn them as you keep doing them, mm -hmm. especially like 1 to 20. You'll know right off Yeah. the beat, okay? Like 2 to 20. Uh-huh. But all even numbers past 2 are always composite. Yeah. Okay, because 2 times something will always equal an even number. Mm-hmm. Okay? Good job. Now, let's see what else they wanted us to do with that activity. They want you to create something called an array. Now, I kind of taught this to you when you were little, okay? okay? And a, an array is something like this, okay? If I were to tell you, come up with three problems that equal 12. So what I'm asking you to do is do this. Blank times blank equals 12. Blank times blank equals 12. And blank times blank equals 12. Uh, I know that there are three, okay? And yeah. they want me to do three arrays. One times twelve. One times twelve equals twelve. Uh, two times six. Two times six equals twelve. And uh, three times four. Four equals twelve. Very good. Now these aren't your answers. These are just what I wanted you to see to see that many things equal twelve. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's now, more. Nope, that was it. Oh. So. Is 12 a composite or a prime number? Composite. Very good. Now, here's what an array looks like. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to make a row of three and four columns. So watch what I do. What? I have four rows 
of three. Um, so I did three. You count them all up and it's 12 times. Isn't it? I did three, one, two, three, four times. Three, four times. Mm -hmm. Which equals 12. 12. This is an array. Uh, Let's do two times six. Okay. So I'm going to do two strikes and, and I'm going to do six, it six times. One, two, that mm -hmm. okay or I could have done it six wouldn't it be, does it have to be X's you, you don't have to I could have done six two times mm -hmm. okay this would be six two times because memory you can switch them six two times is the same thing as 12 and two six times is 12 yeah. okay? I think I've learned this before and then one twelve that's just one row of 12 or down. Okay. Couldn't it be down to? You could do it down. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, those are an array. I taught you this way, which you could still consider an array. It's just not using X's. We just did crossing them. Okay, so what I would do is go three down, and I would do four across. One, two, I three, that. four. And everywhere it crosses, I would put a dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that makes an array a different way. Yeah. I like this better just because it's kind of easier than making X's over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can choose which way you like it. Okay, so that's an array if you needed to know how to do that. Okay. All right. That is lesson 80.